my feet my feet have never been the same since benzo withdrawal and i've never walked i feel like i've never been able to walk the same and i don't understand what all happened to my feet my feet um i don't remember quite what what order um i i i the attack of nerve damage started within 48 for and this is from weaning from dropping the dose the attack the uh, nerve damage attack started within 48 to 72 hours i was in the er from the minute i dropped the first dose i think it was the first dose and i remember because it was my birthday and i was in the er I had no idea what was happening to me um excruciating pain in my feet the the every bone in my every bone in my body actually all the bones in my feet ankles knees elbows fingers everything every joint felt like they were it was being broken my feet swelled up like balloons my ankles swelled up like balloons the bottoms and tops of my feet were so swollen i couldn't walk I was got to the point where I was trying to crawl to the bathroom, but when you crawl, you're dragging the tops of your feet on the floor, so I couldn't crawl because the tops of my feet were too swollen. I never thought I'd wear shoes again. That's how swollen my feet were. I had no shoes that fit. I, I really thought I was going to end up in a nursing home if I couldn't walk or get to the toilet, you know. I uh, had dropped foot. You know, when someone has Parkinson's and they're shuffling along, you know why they're shuffling? Because they can't, they can't lift their foot up to step up and step down. So when they go to, when they, st when they, anyways, they can't go like this with their foot. So they're falling on their foot because they've lost that ability to lift their foot up. And... That can be at the location, or that can be in the brain. Dropped foot. And so I had dropped foot. I was falling from dropped foot. I couldn't go. I was falling upstairs. I was falling downstairs. Um, it, it, very dangerous walking because you can't lift that bottom of your foot up. So you're shuffling along. And neuropathy to the point at times I couldn't feel my feet at all. And uh, neuropathy to the point where I cut my foot once, I didn't feel it, and I dragged blood throughout the house. And uh, like five and a half years later, my feet are still a mess. The ankles are still swollen. It took years for that main, the, oh, I forgot to tell you, this was, this was just excruciating. The arches of my feet ripped. The bottoms of my feet ripped. I was in such excruciating pain. I was wearing, I had to get arches, which was a, a big feat to try to get somewhere to get those fitted when I was so ill. And I was wearing shoes with arches. Like I couldn't even walk to the bathroom because my arches were ripped. I was wearing shoes with orthotics just painful but I couldn't go with the out without the orthotics so I was wearing orthotics day and night in the house in my pajamas I was wearing running shoes with orthotics in my pajamas late at night I couldn't walk around the house without them I was in so much pain so yeah five and a half years later you know what my feet are just killing me my ankles are still swollen and the neuropathy and every t every step I take is like a risk right winter is a nightmare but you know how you go on and off the sidewalk like that every single step every it, it's all a risk a, a risk of falling this is all from the benzo withdrawal I never had any of these issues prior